this fucking coffee out of you. Set these traps for me. You leave these old coffee cups with no lids on them. That's right. I do. I do it's it on purpose. because you're hoping I'm going to be driving around and I spill it everywhere. Will you do that to me? You know, I don't know what this guy just said. He said something. I wasn't paying attention. No, you weren't. You weren't listening. You were doing a bit. No, but I just you said. He was doing. I just said, yeah. Honestly, I just said, yeah, because I wanted him to stop talking to me. That's, you know? you but I'll have to ask him again. He's going to tell you again regardless, so don't get mad at him when he you, tells you again. Do you again. think he knows I wasn't listening to him? I think he could tell. You know, I, I think that floodedbasementbathroom.com has got a lot of, uh, flooded a lot base, of potential. Floodedbasementbathroom.com. Because, you know, when people do it, when they go on a Google and they do a search for flooded basement bathroom, that's going to be the first thing that comes up. I find myself searching that at least three times a day. Floodedbasementbathroom.com. And then what do you say on there? Floodedbasementbathroom.com is your... Could you write something on... But Could you write something on a... Like a description on the, the header, would you say, like a, or one of our technicians will come by? Chicago's premier flooded basement bathroom company. If you have a flooded basement bathroom and you are in need of service, you can call our toll-free number, 1-800-FLOODED-BATHROOM, and we will send a technician to your home within four hours. If you do not choose to engage with our services, there will be a fee for the technician of $49.99. No, no, just, just 1-800-BATHROOM, B-A-T-R-O-O-M. B-A-T-R-O-O-M. That works, 1-800-BATHROOM. That's seven numbers, yeah. That, yeah, that's what I was saying. I says to him, I says, you don't be doing it down here, you know? You can't be doing it down here. You no, know, he don't know no better because he's a doper, you know? He gets all confused. He starts hitting that new pot they got. He's just, he's gone. They're doing, I mean, and, and they're doing a lot of pot in there. I Doing a lot of pot. You know, they really are. They get all, you know, they get all muddled up, you know? They get upset about a Kit Kat bar. I see one of these guys start crying. He saw a little dog, you know, and it's fine. But, you know, you got to have a little more emotional resilience in it. If you're doping all the time, you know, who knows? I, you know, every time I stop smoking pot, I start thinking about God, you know, you know, I, you know, it's just, it, it, you know, you get the pot out of your life, you know, you get a little more God in there, you know, you start thinking about stuff a little more. You think, start thinking about your mortality and the role you have to play in this cosmic dance that we're all doing here, you know, so take a little break from pot. How much pot were you doing? Were you oh, doing a lot of pot? I was do I was doing both a lot of pot and also too much pot. You know, because there's those are different things. Because you could be doing a lot of pot, but it's not too much pot. You know, but if you're doing too much pot, you know that could be a little bit of pot for some people. You know, it's different. You know, and the stuff that got now, wowie zowie, they don't really knock your trousers down. Okay, so watch out there. You can see the ring go. Al, I got you. I got you a toad. You got me a toad. It's a peyote toad. It's a it's a yote toad. It's a right. yote toad. I hope you like it. I like it so much. This is beautiful. Thanks, Dylan. Yeah. I got you something too here. I wanted to bring you home a piece of Chicago, so I got you this oh, jewel. Oh no, Lasko. you didn't have to do it. I did. I did have to. Oh, uh, well, it's even got Skyline some mild wear and tear on it. Look at that. You know, I, it's well loved. I thought, you know, I could get another one. So Joey you know what this. we can use these for is we're going to go down and shovel bits of the continental breakfast in there because you know the per diem rate on this fucking shoot isn't enough. So we'll have uh, food to eat later on. We're going to fill this with loose eggs. That's a tanker full of edible beef tallow outside of the Vienna Beef Factory. Where do you think your hot dogs come from? They make a nice slurry and they mix it with the tallow and put it in a casing. <laughs> it's so good. Here we are in the beautiful stockyards. This is a rail spur that serves uh, various facilities around here. And going on about four hours of sleep, we're going to take a walk out here. But I'm a little loopy, so I might say a couple, two, three things that don't make any sense. I might trip over my words, but... You know, it's good to be alive at the end of the day. You know, it used to be a lot more efficient at that, Jack, you know? Now it takes you a while in your old age. It's one of the most beautiful signal bridges in a tri-state region by far, okay? You know, but it, it, at the time it was made, you know, it was probably holding a lot more signals than just, you know, the, the three or four. I guess you get five. You got five up there. So you look at a nice haze, too. You see that haze? You're looking, you know, it looks like you're looking through nothing, but you're actually, you're looking through a bunch of particles in the air that, that put a nice sheen, a nice patina 
on a city skyline you know but there's a lot more glass dildos on that skyline than there were when i lived there a long time ago you know it looks a lot different bunch of steel and glass See, they don't even use the spur no more. And you know how I know that? I know that. You know how I know that? Because you got you got eastern red cedars, which aren't an actual cedar at all, growing right in the middle of the tracks. And I wouldn't do that if they were still running hoppers down here, going to freaking, you know, Blommer or wherever stuff. You just got Metro, you know? You know, just Metro just bringing a bunch of drunken suburbanites in to go... You know, do tourist stuff on a week. I don't know where they're going. I don't know what they're doing over there. Going to some sports ball game or something. I don't know what they do anymore. <laughs> and it was at that point that he was asked to leave the little brother's friends of the elderly society because he'd been misappropriating funds, you know. They'd take the bus out to the casino and he was juking these people out of their winnings, you know. They get all confused after they win the slot machines, all the lights are disorienting. He said, hey, let me take your chips and all the stuff you won. Let me take it back to the counter. I'll cash it out for you. And he was skimming 10, 20, by the end of it, 30% from these folks. And, you know, they were just trying to, you know, have an outing. So elder abuse is no joke. So you could see what we got going on with the clouds up there. Beautiful. You got a nice ceiling, a cloud cover. Hey, 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 okay. Hey, hey, over here. Okay. So Ashland Avenue, you know, it's a major thoroughfare fair for trucks okay the bus system is very nice if you got to get somewhere it's a great arterial take it from the north side down to the south side you're going to be fine a bus runs 24 hours hey hey i was telling you about that thing over here i seen a lot of things on ashland in the night i seen them on a bus i seen them on my bike i seen them when i was walking down there you've seen all kinds of things would you like to elucidate anything for us uh, according to what's happened to the near west side in recent years with uh, the urban developments and you stuff. Could, I, there's a lot you could say, you know. Uh, I could use the allegory of this trash transfer station, you know, nestled here in Fulton Market amongst the breweries and, uh, you know, uh, boutique coffee roasters and what have you, that no matter how much you dress it up and reappropriate the former industrial buildings for new industry, you know, there's always going to be a heart of trash. You know, there's always going to be awful and waste and things to be disposed of. And you got to ask yourself, who's disposing of what? You know, think about that. Look at that. Look at the milkweeds. You got a Sclepius just popping up right at the, at the foot of this dirty fence. Filthy dirty. Ah. Oh. You even got milkweeds popping up through the concrete, through the asphalt. See that? Cannot be stopped. You know, a lot of people wonder, uh, you know, you're eating liquid salad all the time. You know, how come, you know, you look like that? You're in a shaker. And well, the fact is, you know, it's a cycle. 24 hours of liquid salad, 24 hours of nothing but pizza. And uh, right now we're on a pizza cycle. So what you want to do is avoid that. But uh, the siren song of dough and cheese is very strong, you know.